a breed all in their own. Those that would have been a generation, two generations ahead of me, but they were uh, completely independent. They had men to help support them, but they ran boarding houses, they ran hotels, they used guns under their pillows. You know, they weren't they weren't pan nandy pandy little secretaries or anything. And they could make do with almost anything. My Swedish grandma was very good at that. Uh, she never peeled vegetables that she didn't save the peelings. That went to soup stuff. And she had a big cast iron stove and, uh, you know, the, I was probably as nutritious as anything you could get. You know, because anything she had that was, it was sort of like the French do, you know, where whatever's left over you throw in the soup pot. And they grew a lot of their own vegetables. And of course the Swedes built, uh, grew a lot of root vegetables. They were great on parsnips and bootbaggers and potatoes and beets and that kind of thing that would last. Cabbage, they were good on cabbage. Not so hot on lettuce. You have lettuce at their house once in a while in the summertime, but the lettuce didn't keep, so you had to have Ted's cabbage. And And my family was not alone because the best cream cabbage with, I don't know, with spare ribs or pork of any kind, you'll find at Virginia Johnson's home. Virginia makes really good cream cabbage and I don't even like cream cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound good. It was so bad that when the fellows were all young, you know, and we'd go to Virginia's and she'd have this pot of cream cabbage and spare ribs that they'd all eat until they were sick. <laughs> you know, just really, I mean, they made Thanksgiving look silly. And I don't think Pat ever ate cream cabbage anywhere else in his life, but he did love the way Virginia made it. But he liked cabbage, so he probably did. He did eat cabbage with corned beef, so he liked cabbage. He liked those Brussels sprouts. I thought they were all right, but I didn't think yeah. they were special. I, I, yeah, I, I like Brussels sprouts okay once in a while, but yeah, I thought they sounded good on the TV, and and they were good. And they were different. Yeah, they were different. And they were they were green that we didn't have. We don't usually have, so that was kind of fun. I like that part of it. And I, I get a kick out of, of uh, Dina. She's willing to try anything. Yeah. <laughs> she made date cookies. Yeah, she said she had to make date cookies. She made a whole batch of them. <laughs> I'll take date cookies to Norm tomorrow because they're his dates. But yeah. Well, I suppose you can take me home.